everyone. Sorry I didn't see you there. My name is Olivia. I'm Reagan. We are going to talk about fun things to do and see in Davis County and some history. Our three places you should go to in Davis County are Hill Air Force Base, Lagoon, and Antelope Island. Okay, then let's get started. The first place you should visit in Davis County is the Hill Air Force Base. As you can see, the picture behind me is a picture of planes in the Hill Air Force Base. It was used in World War II. This became an Air Force Base in 1948. Today, the Hill Air Force Base employs 21,000 people. I know what you're thinking. That's a lot of people. On Memorial Day, the Hill Air Force Base celebrates the ASMC Family Day on May 24th and Memorial Day, May 27th. They serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dinner. Man, I want to go there bad now. The second place that you should visit in Davis County is Lagoon. Did you know that Lagoon is one of the most popular amusement parks in America? Lagoon has lots of great roller coasters. For example, you can ride on Cannibal. Cannibal opened July 2nd, 2015. It is made of steel and it costs $22 million to build. Cannibal features the steepest drop in North America and is the fourth steepest in the world. Cannibal holds the world record for the tallest vertical drop on a roller coaster. Samurai and Rattlesnake Rapids are a couple more popular rides at Lagoon. It was created by Simon Bamberger. He opened the Lagoon Resort in 1896. Later, he added water features, rides, games, and a zoo to the park. The third reason you should go in Davis County is Antelope Island. Antelope Island is the largest island in the Great Salt Lake, but it is located in Davis County boundaries. So, sometimes the water level gets below sea level. This place contains some fresh water for animals to drink. That makes it a great environment for animals. It also has a state park that you can go hiking, camping, golfing, boating, bird watching, and much more. They also have many fun museums. Reagan, what is the population in Davis County? The population is 347,637 people. The county seat is Farmington. That's so cool, but did you know that Davis County was named after Daniel C. Davis? He was a captain of in the Mormon Battalion. They decided to name the county after him. Olivia, did you know that Davis is, County is the smallest county in Utah? Wow, I did not know that. Well, that's all for now about Davis County. See you soon. Bye. Wait, I want to say bye too. Fine. Bye. You can stop now. Okay. Hi, my name is Max. And my name is Luca. Welcome to Box Elder County. We will be telling you about its history and fun places. First, we'll tell you about its three major places and then interesting facts, and last, why you should go to Box Elder County. Box Elder County has lots of places that you can go to. The first place is Promontory Point. Promontory Point is awesome because it was the place where the Transcontinental Railroad was finished on May 10, 1869. The Central Pacific the Central Pacific Railroad and the Union Pacific Railroad connected at this one point, making it the Transcontinental Railroad because, because it went from one end of the continent to the other. Promontory Point is also known as the Golden Spike. The next place is the Great Salt Lake. The Great Salt Lake is the largest saltwater lake in the whole world. Salt Lake City was named after the Great Salt Lake and Salt Lake City used to be named Great Salt Lake C City by the president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Brigham Young. He led a group of pioneers to the Salt Lake Valley southeast of the Salt Lake on July 24, 1847. Another place you should visit is the Spiral Jetty. It is a fun sight to see. The Spiral Jetty is a spiral made out of basalt rocks. It was made in 1970. It was made by Robert Smithson. The spiral jetty stretches more than 1,500 feet into the Great Salt Lake. Now it's time for a fact about Box Elder County. Box Elder County was named after the Box Elder Tree. The population is 52,097. The county seat is Brigham City. If you go to Utah, don't forget to go to Box Elder County. We got the cash. We got the cash. That's not the kind of cash. 
Hi, today we're going to be talking about Cache County. Some fun places that you can go go to in Cache County are Cherry Peaks, the Logan Tabernacle, and the Utah State University. In a typical year, Cache receives 54 inches of snow and 18 inches of rain. Cherry Peaks, also known as Cherry Creek Peaks, is in Richmond. There are a lot of fun, amazing things to do. For example, skiing. In the Logan Tabernacle, you can get a free tour. In the summertime at 12 o'clock p.m., there is a concert every day in the Tabernacle. USU produced Utah's first ice cream in 1921. USU opened in 1888. USU competes in football, basketball, golf, track, gymnastics, volleyball, and softball. In Cache, there are two school districts. Combined, Cache County has 24 elementary schools and over 22 thousand students in kindergarten through 12th grade attend. Hey London, did you know that 124,438 people live in Cache County? Wow, that's a lot of people. And no, I didn't know that. There is over 55,000 workers in Cache County. The name Cache is a French word meaning a hiding place. The county seat is in Logan. One historical event is when Jim Bridger and John Weber came through Cache in 1824. Another historical event is when Cache was formed in 1857. Hey London, did you know the first European explorers in Cache area were mountain men who traveled through the Cache in the eight, early 1800s? No, I didn't know that. That's all for Cache. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hello. We are going to be talking about Summit County. To this day, about 41, 1,006 people live in Summit County. Really? Did you know that Summit is the 10th largest county by population? Oh, cool. But did you know that most people live in Colville? Colville is, is the county seat. There are many fun places to visit in Summit. One of those places is Sundance. Sundance is a fun place to ski and has great food and, it, and other fun things to do. Park City is also a great, great place to visit. It has such great places to, such a great place to ski. They even had a, the Olympics there, but we'll get to that later. Have you ever been to the Alpine Sled in Park City? Yes, it is very fun, but I don't quite remember. I was very little. It's not like any other slide you see at the park. You can go down steep hills, big turns, and it will be a perfect place to ride on. Do you know how Summit got its name? Yes, from the high peaks. The Winter Olympics came to Summit in 2002 in Park City. Really? I want to see the Olympics someday. I know. That would be awesome. That would be cool seeing people doing flips and turns. Do you know about the Sundance Film Festival? Yes, over 71,000 people come to the Sundance Film Festival each year. They show amazing movies. Did you know that each year people donate over $151 million to the film festival to Utah? Wow, that's a lot of money. I wish I could have that much money someday. Thanks for watching. watching. Bye. We are going to talk about fun locations in Washington County, Utah. In the history of Washington County. The county seat of Washington is St. George. Washington County was named after George Washington. The population is 155,602. Early settlers came to Washington County because Brigham Young said they needed to move south. Brigham Young had a winter home there from 1870 to 1877. If you want to see the house of, come to St. George. The house is pink because the limestone and iron mixed together made a pinkish tone. It was good for winter because it, it's warm because it is warm in St. George. Another fun place to visit is Zions National Park. You can hike, mountain bike, and you can rock climb. Some of the most popular hikes are Emerald Pools and Angel's Landing. Angel's Landing is on many people's bucket lists. It's a really hard nail trail with long drop-offs on both sides. However, people say it's an incredible sight to see at the top. It's one long hike, but it's worth it. You can also go to Jacob Hamblin's house. 
Jacob Hamlin was a pioneer and mountain man. At his house, you can see his bed, saddle, and a stone that the Indians carved. That's all for today. Audio Smeagles. <laughs> Hello, my name is Autumn, and I'm going to talk about San Juan. San Juan is a county in Utah. The county population is 15,356, and the county seat is Monticello. The county was named after the San Juan River, which was named after the Dominguez Escalante Party. Near the beginning of our county, Hispanic immigrants came to San Juan as sheep herders. Most of the population in San Juan became Mexican immigrants. Also, another historic event was called the Long Walk. Some of the Navajo tribe lived in San Juan. When the white men took the land that was supposed to be the Navajo's land, they made the Navajo leave and walked 300 miles. It took 18 days. Hundreds of Native, Native Americans died during the long trip. Here are three places to visit. One of the three places to visit is Four Corners. It is the only place in the United States where four states meet. The states are Utah, Arizona, Colorado, and New Mexico. You can be in not just two, but four places at once. Also, another place you can see is Canyonlands National Park. The canyons were formed by the Colorado River. You can go biking on trails and climbing on mountains. The last place that you should visit is Lake Powell. The area is 254.1 square miles. You can take a boat tour and visit Lee's Ferry. Just so you know, San Juan is the biggest county in Utah. That's all for now. I hope you learned something. Bye! Welcome, Welcome to, to Salt, Salt Lake, Lake County. County. We are going to talk about some fun locations in Salt Lake. Like Temple Square, Natural History Museum, and this is the place Heritage Park. Do you know the population in Salt Lake, Claire? Yeah, the population in Salt Lake is 1,135,649. That's a lot of people. Celeste, what can you do and find at Temple Square? Well, one thing you can do is watch the Tabernacle Choir. Really? I've heard of them before. They sing so beautifully. At Natural History Museum, what can you do there? One of the things you can do is look at dinosaur bones, but you can see many more things there. That sounds like fun. I want to go there. We're forgetting something. Oh yeah, it's this is the place. What is this is the place? This is the place Heritage Park. Let's you step back in time and see the west, how it was in the early settlements of Utah. You can ride the trains or visit the native of American villages. Really? Claire, did you know that the seat of Salt Lake is Salt Lake? Really? That's cool. Yeah, but what is the amount of snow that snow that Salt Lake gets per year? It's actually 52 inches of snow, but only 17 inches of rain. Speaking of snow, where could I go to go skiing? Well, there are a few places like Snowbird and Brighton. There's also Alta and Solitude. Wow. Those, those sound like fun places. I think I will go there in the winter. Speaking of sports, have you ever heard of the sport basketball? Yeah, I have, but I don't know the teams. Could you tell me some of them? Of course. One of them is the Jazz. Another one is the Sa Salt Lake Bees. I really like to watch the women's basketball. Sounds like fun to watch. Well, I love Salt Lake County. There are a lot of fun things to do there. And I learned a lot of things today. It was fun visiting Salt Lake. Bye! Bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Welcome back to Susan Weavers. Just kidding. This is Weaver County. Here's two interesting facts about Weaver. In 1846, Miles Goodyear and his wife and children built Fort Buenaventura with a couple of good friends. Miles Goodyear is the first person that owned Fort Buenaventura, but then sold it to James Brown, and he later renamed it Brown's Fort. Some places in Weber are Fort Buenaventura State Park, Pineview Reservoir, and Union Station in Ogden. Now Ella's going to talk about Union Station in Ogden. The Ogden Union Station is a place you can visit. It was built in 1924. The original train station was built in 1860 and was a very popular place for travelers and business. Nowadays it's a museum and it's not just one. There's three museums and two art galleries. The three museums are Browning Farm Museum, Browning Kimball Classic Car Museum, and Utah State Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. The two art galleries are Art Gallery at the station and Myra Powell Art Gallery. Another place to visit is Historic 25th Street. This historic street is known for being haunted, but not in a creepy way. It's more of, of an appreciation of those who came before us and remembering their legacy. There's a lot of things you can do on 25th Street. The population in Weber is 251,769 in 2017. Whoa, that's a big number. Did you know that the county seat in Weber is Ogden, Utah? No, I didn't know that. Weber is a great place because there's so much to do and see. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening. listening. Weber, Weber County, County out. We're going to talk about Utah County. Noah, did you know we live in Utah County? Yes, we live in Orem, but the county seat is in Provo. Utah County is named after the Ute tribe and officially was a county in 1896. Hey, did you know the population of Utah County is 575,205? Well, that's a lot of people. Have you heard of Brigham Young University, also known as BYU? Yes, I have. BYU is the most important part of Utah County. BYU started in 1875. Did you know BYU has over 33,000 students? No, but that's a lot of students. However, those are college students. What about normal students, like kids? You mean like students kindergarten to high school? Yeah, what about them? There are about 128,000 of those students. That's a lot of students. I know, right? And that is why we talked about Utah, Utah County. County. Hello. Today we are talking about Grand County. That is right. Here are some reasons you should go to Grand County. Some awesome places, along with some amazing facts. Let's do this. First, let's talk about the arches. I'll take over from here, Peter. Arches National Parks covers more than 73,000 acres. There are more than 500 arches found inside national parks. The hike to Delicate Arch comes in three parts. The first third of the hike is mostly flat with some up and downs. The trail has a very unexpected change as it reaches a steep slick rock. The arches the arches area was inhabited later in two, by two different historic groups of Native Americans, the Newt and the, the Ute and the Navajo. Utes lived and hunted throughout the park areas, and they were responsible for driving out the first white settlers in the area as the late 1850s. Very interesting. And now I'll talk about Dead Horse Point. Dead Horse Point is a state park. In Grand County, it is called Dead Horse Point because it forms the shape of a horse. All the vertical cliffs meet with canyons carved by ice. Water and wind creating a visual mysteries. It's cool. I promise. Plants and animals surviving on the edge of existence face many challenges of extreme conditions with it in its high desert type environment. So come to Dead Horse Point now to help the animals and plants. Now it's my turn. I'll, Peter, I'll talk about Fraser Tubing Hill. 
If you are planning on going to Utah, make sure you go to Fraser Tubing Hill in Grand County. It's a grand place to go tubing in the winter. It's even better if you are 3 through 103 years old. And if you get tired of walking up the hill, you can get pulled up. And that's why you should go to Fraser Tubing Hill in Grand County. And now, the moment at least one of you has been waiting for, the Grand County Facts. The Grand County seat is Moab. Butch Cassidy and the Wild Bunch hid in Grand County. The population in 2017 was 9,674. Whoa. Grand County was named after the Grand River, and that is how, that is now called the Colorado River. Cool, and that's the end. Hey! That was my line! Welcome, Welcome to, to Iron, Iron County. County. We'll be talking about the history of Iron County and some fun facts. One of the historical events are some petroglyphs that were made in, by the Fremont people in AD 750. Petroglyphs are images created by removing parts of the rock surface. Wow, that's amazing. Another historical place is Old Iron Town. Old Iron Town, previously called Iron City, was founded in 1868 where they mined for iron. It is now a ghost town. A ghost town is a town that was abandoned and sometimes forgotten for good reasons so people don't get hurt. Old Iron Town was abandoned in 1876 because of its hard business. Another place you can go is the Frontier Homestead Heritage Park. The Frontier Homestead is an activity park to honor the spirit of our community and those who created opportunities for our growth and other pioneers. On November 5th from 10th, from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. is where they celebrate the pioneers coming to Utah. There's another place you can go is Cedar, Cedar Breaks National Park. Yes, yeah, Cedar Breaks National Park. Wait, is it fun? Miles, you can go on a hike, see Petroglyphs that were made a long time ago from the Fremont people and mind-blowing views. That's awesome. I want to go not there right now. The population is 51,001 in Iron County. The county seat is Pile 1. Iron County got its name by the iron deposit in the area. Thanks, Thanks for watching. We, we hope, hope to see you there. there. Bye. Bye.